Go time. Welcome to the Blue Mountain Hunting Podcast. This is episode number five. Cinco de Mayo. And so today we have a special guest, Drake. Special Ed. Hungate. Yep. Say hi, hi Drake. <laughs> <laughs> so Drake's a good buddy of ours. Grew uh, up with him. Yeah. Sixth Every, grade? Seventh grade? Yeah. Uh-huh. Something like that, huh? Yeah. Everybody yeah. around here knows Drake as Drake the farmer. Hungate Custom Hay, but Led if you farmer. really know Drake, you know he's a bear killing savage. Probably been around more bear kills than anybody you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just coming in hot. Well, it's probably true. You know shit about bears, and Drake knows more than you, okay? <laughs> I don't know about the first part, but Drake probably knows more about bears at, yeah. for sure in the fall. Oh, yeah. I do know a lot about fall bear hunting. I don't know very much about spring bears, but I have been on a lot of fall bear kills. So, how many a year, you think? Uh, I know the last three years I guided, I was on 35 the last year, and oh. 28 the year before that, and real close to that the year before that. So, so and I guided for nine years. How, uh, what? You guided yeah. for nine You're years? You're old, dude. I know. <laughs> nine years? Nine years. How long has it been since you started guiding? No. Well, I started? Or not started, <laughs> since you stopped guiding. Uh, One year. Two years? One year. Yeah, one year. One year. Yeah. Last year's the la- the first year you didn't do it. Last right? year was the first year I didn't guide. Did you miss so it? it hasn't even I do out. miss it. I do miss it a lot. You better get back at it. Yeah. So yeah. you were hunting in a two bear area. Yep. Well, it wasn't a two bear area until the last two years I guided. Okay. It's been a two it's only been this would be the fourth year coming now that it'll be a two bear unit. Okay. So how, what do you think your success rate was in that? I know for almost every year, almost every year of the nine years, we had a hundred percent opportunity rate mm-hmm. and a 80% kill rate. Yeah. Well, as an outfitter and a guide, you can really only. I can only give the client so many chances yeah. at a bear yeah. opportunity. Like Before opportunity, I mean, you're talking like 400 yard shots? No, or? within 250 yards. Yeah. yeah. You can only. As an outfitter, like, advertise opportunity because right. the guy that is coming. I don't you know. I mean, I try and learn every client's shooting capabilities. Well, you know a lot about that? I don't know, know a lot about the guys that are coming? Huh? Well. In and around your face, possibly? <laughs> I heard a lot of comebacks. Yeah. Reason. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> so, 100% opportunity. That's crazy. Yeah. In the, and this is fall bear hunting. What kind of country are you hunting? Steep. Uh, we just, our camp was at 2,000 feet, and the top was 6,800 feet. That's a lot and of you feet. Could, you could get there in a, well, if you went straight up, it, you could get there in about three and a half miles. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of grade. I'm going to need some ropes, so I'm going <laughs> like that. You're, so you're all, this is on the Salmon River drainage. We yeah. don't do specific unit, but there's a lot of country in there. And that's in Mexico, <laughs> by the way. Nobody could root. <laughs> Nobody could really hunt where you guys were anyway. So yeah, it was all hunt. private access. Yeah. Most of it was a family-owned ranch. And I think the biggest thing that gave us success was it was all a plum orchard at one point. Yeah. And so over the years, the all the animals that eat the plums, and they were just spread out all over the country. Deep down in my plums. <laughs> you seen that? Yeah. <laughs> so Just pinkish <laughs> you. You probably... Uh, have skinned more bears than anybody you know. Yeah, I have skinned a lot of bears. Before I could start guiding, we owned it, and then we sold the outfitting business. But I worked for my dad for, I mean, I was hauling bait when I was six years old, so seven years old. Yeah, that's a good time. No, it wasn't fun, (laughs) but (laughs) got to start somewhere, I guess. Would you rather pack 100 pounds of bait or skin a bear? Oh, I'd rather skin a bear. Skin 100%. a bear. Yeah, are you crazy? I mean, that's, I don't know, man. Skin I mean, I, towards the end, I think I, uh, even a big bear, I could skin a, I could skin a 300 pound bear by myself in under 15 minutes. Yeah. I've been that long on one paw. <laughs> it's like, it probably, I won't you break. The paws the, are tricky because you can either take it all the way up to the fingers or you can just do it at the wrist. Yeah. I always do it at the wrist. I, yeah. I think the wrists are way easier yeah. to hit. Weird to, discussing this the other day though i'm sure you listened but uh the idea of potentially just doing it at the elbow 
Yeah, I heard you talking about or, that. That's a, you'd have to run that by a taxidermist, but yeah. that is a interesting Do you concept. know what they mm-hmm. quoted me for taxidermy? To soft tan? Yeah. How, for your, rug? Hang on. What's your bear square? It, they do it by lineal foot. Okay. So How many feet? Just guess how much they were. Well, I want to know how many feet before I can give you a guess. No, because it's, yeah, because it's per price, lineal foot. The price, okay, per foot? Yeah. Most company, they almost all of them have a minimum of four hundred dollars so i bet they charge you six hundred dollars is a hundred just for just for tan 150 dollars a lineal foot minimum four feet probably i mean well i'm not gonna shoot a two-foot bear i did <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah when that when's that video gonna drop dropping yeah. soon bear season yeah <laughs> well we, we i wasn't kill, sure if you were gonna hide it or not we <laughs> killed quick yeah. That's for sure. Um, and we'll get Some into that. bigger than others. Yeah. <laughs> well, I still got two tags left. Maybe That's three true. if I run up to Montana. So. There you go. Montana. Uh, no, we'll get into that here in a minute. Let's sure thing. S- stick with Drake here explaining his bear bear killing expertise. So, <laughs> in your 15 minutes to get out of bear, most people, that's half hour 45 minimum oh yeah yeah at absolutely. least like it probably took me 25 to skin that bear out by yeah. myself and i've skinned more bears than most guys yeah just... absolutely but and... i mean there was a lot of times we'd be doing more than one bear a day or two bears a day and just get after just... it yeah yeah it uh it would be a heck of a lot easier if a tax service would want you to leave that elbow turning. absolutely like it's always the easier joint to hit yeah and you would think when it time it comes time to skin toes, it would really like having something to pull on there or right. like pressure down or whatever. It'd help, but who knows? Who the I think I think the biggest thing is that most people don't know is taxidermists would pref- they can fix the pad mm-hmm. if you cut into it, at least on the back feet, especially to hit that ankle joint. If you'll cut like an inch into that pad and then start your cut down. And then peel it back from there. It's a lot easier to hit that joint. Hmm. But most people start at the base of the pad where the, it meets the hair. And it just makes it a lot tougher to get in there and hit it. I see. That's how I always do it. Is just, I don't mess with the pad. Yeah. So. I'm never, my whole life, I've never been very good at hitting any specific spots. <laughs> so, I just kind of fumble around with my knife. <laughs> till it feels right. Call, call you Jake Sam. Yeah. <laughs> Good bear. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, that's so you killed thirty five bears your last year. Yep. How many hunters? We had thirty eight hunters. Thirty eight so hunters. We had a really high oh, success yeah. rate. How though. many of those killed two? Uh Any? handful. Well, I, we had I can't remember exactly. I think we had eight, nine people kill two bears. Do you ever have anybody kill two at once? <laughs> no, but I've had four different people kill four different bears in the same drainage in under an hour. Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. they were just they we killed the first one and the bear started squirting out in every direction and we just, just started started, just started, 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 started down. blasting. <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> started blasting. <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Uh, that would, that sounds like a good old time, right? Oh there. yeah. Yeah. Do you was, even have to move spots very far. Uh, we had to move spots once. We had to move down the canyon just a ways, just yeah. to the next outlook there. And sure enough, they came around the corner and so gave them the onion. On the the spring hunts you guys guided, or did you guide any spring hunts? I guided spring hunts for two years, and at least up there, the bears were just barely getting out, and uh, they were hard to hunt. They were on alert. I don't... We had wolves in there pretty heavy in the spring, and I don't know if that affected it at all, but uh, they were hard to hunt, and they were really high. I, I couldn't believe they hadn't made their way down any further than they had, but they were uh, just, man, we just chased and chased, and we didn't have very good success. We had, I think we only had 50%. Yeah. We only had six hunters, so. I see that outfit started baiting now though so yeah they switched to a different they lost the unit they were in oh did they yep so now they're way north oh like elk city north like uh lolo pass area oh man 
Yeah. So, so what the did the new owner of the ranch kick him out? Yeah, he decided he wanted to run cows on the place, and he didn't think it was going to work having both in. I don't know why you would think that, but yeah, you would think you'd want less predators with right, your cattle absolutely. Around, but oh well, rich landowners do what they want. Yep. Um, no, the spring and fall thing is wild to me too because there's a drainage I backpacked into it last spring, and in the fall I will see. I have seen 21 bears in that drainage in three days. That's amazing. And I did not see a... (laughs) It's amazing. (laughs) I didn't see a single bear in there that three, that two day backpack trip. And normally, yeah, it's just packed. But then like my good spring spots, I've glassed them in the fall and seen like one or two bears where I'm seeing a pile of them early spring. Right, right. I know they migrate a ton. We had a conservation biologist guy come up there and he looked at all the fruit we had and he figured that uh he thought bears would migrate as much as 200 miles to come in there just for the fruit because 200 200 miles miles was his guesstimate just because of the population we would have in there did did, uh you guys kill any tag bears in there Mm -mm. we never killed a tag bear huh that's wild dalton's bear was tagged yeah really Mm mm-hmm it freaked me out when I got up to it. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, I'll bet. Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Maybe I didn't find it. <laughs> so, you guys didn't bait, it was all spot and stock. We had uh, three different baits, but we'd save them for older clients or yeah. young kids that were there that couldn't really get around. Yeah. Well, when you got that kind of a food source, Ryan, just really everything was spot and stock and a lot of time on glass just. Yeah. I mean, bears are pretty hard to spot. You, yeah, anytime. You, you'd think that it, as black as they are, they'd stand out, but they can move so quiet. and Yeah. Isn't it crazy? Black, you're on, like, the only time black bears are really easy to spot is just going across snow. Yeah, and moving. Yeah, snow and moving. Or bright grass. Yeah. And, but, yeah, it's, I, I can't believe how quiet they can be. Yeah, it's. Sneaky little snakes. Yeah, sneaky <laughs> snakes. It's, yeah. Huh. So. Weird. Yeah, you're making fun of Troy. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. That's some good stuff, huh? That's some good whiskey. <laughs> so what would what would you say is like the the best things to pay attention to when you're trying to kill a bear in the fall? As far as obviously size have a finding pump. them or yeah, just just look getting bears. Obviously, a lot of time helps. glassing. Yeah. You can never glass an area too much, and if it's not busy at while you're there mm-hmm. at one time a day come back and look at it again because if it looks like there's going to be bears in there there probably is yeah well you just got to find them slipping up and i would i would say the main thing with fall bears is the food source because spring all of the food yeah springtime spring, there, there's food everywhere green grass is what they right. want in the springtime so well, that's just grass everywhere. Is everywhere yeah but in the fall when they're targeting berries and shit Which like in this acorn, state, I mean, yeah, like you can find berries in a lot of different units. Oh, yeah, you, absolutely. But that's where you need to key in on. Right, absolutely. I'd say, like right now, anywhere that's green, brushy, and steep below the snow line, you're you're good. probably good. Yeah. Yep. It's a it's weird, like how much more condensed they become in the fall. Right, mm-hmm. right. I will say, I'm been impressed with the hair on both your guys' bears. Yeah, there yeah, was that winter eight. time, son. Shit, Dalton's bear was the first bears tagged in in the state. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So nice. They un- said they said it was the first one of the year, and they were surprised. I I called them again to make sure that I don't know they had that tag on there, and they said to to call, so I called them. Yeah. They said nobody had checked in a bear yet since then. Sweet. Yeah, yeah I had to work uh, the last two days, so I haven't got mine checked yet. Yeah. I did it Monday, so there's a real chance that. Like, not checking it in wise, but backdating, I might have killed the second bear in the state. Yeah. Could be, for so, sure. Which would be pretty neat. One and I two. know all the, yeah. both, or two of the three spring bears we killed uh, had terrible coats. They were both sows, <laughs> though, and they, I don't know if it's because they were rolling around. How late did you kill them? Uh, middle of April. So, That's, yeah. I'd say, like... Right this year, most of the seasons open up. Yeah, this right. this year is like if, there, if you kill a bear right now, it's gonna have exceptional hide, oh, right? Yeah. Because it's, it's good such, snow year. it's yeah such a late winter, and 
even on a like last year it was eight, 70 degrees april 1st those bears yeah. are rubbing that shit off yeah right now they're just barely coming out so whatever they grew all winter is still going to be on them right. for a week or so the one we killed she had long black hair all of, all on her legs and her head but where she had rubbed all her hair off on her back it was blonde yeah that's pretty cool it was really well, neat looking huh. bear yeah it was really thin hair but mm -hmm. it was yeah. the color pattern was really unique Huh. So on all those bears you killed, what like what were you aiming for size wise? Well, the average bear killed in the state of Idaho is only 130 pounds. Well, so I most that. people coming out is no, you didn't. No, you <laughs> no, didn't. didn't. <laughs> yes, I I've did. seen you pick up 130 like, pounds. Closer than that. <laughs> closer to one is the winner, right? What? Yeah, what? One. One pound. Mine was only like 40, so <laughs> <laughs> it's a winner. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> No, we sh we shot for a two hundred pound. Anything over that was yeah. a bonus. But I mean, people that say they kill a four hundred pound bear, like unless you have a scale, those guys, those guys are the same guys that say they nail targets every time at a thousand yards. Well, that yeah, or kill two hundred inch mule deer yeah. every year. Yeah, they're <laughs> yeah. three three fifty elk. Yep, yeah. yep. It it takes a giant fat fall bear to get to four hundred. Yeah, like. Even like a seven foot black bear right now is only gonna weigh like two fifty yeah. after the winter. Yeah, so. they just get so skinny and lanky. Yeah, he's so cool to kill seven foot right about meow. Yeah, I'm gonna. Are you? Yeah, probably not. But why don't you see it? <laughs> I, I also said I wasn't gonna shoot a small bear. And <laughs> yeah, that turned out great. Once you see a seven foot bear, though, you, your whole perspective on size just changes. Yeah, and I, I've only we've only killed eight or nine that i can think of that went seven foot and a big ass bear we yeah, killed one that went seven six and it oh was just boy. a tank we i what hiked color out was that one cinnamon the cin oh yep i hiked out of the gnarliest canyon i've ever hiked out in my life empty to go back to camp to get a scale and come i hiked it all the way back in so we could weigh that bear <laughs> really <laughs> yep what that bear weigh 515 pounds holy, holy shit that thing was a challenge. It was. Yeah. It was a monster. Mm -hmm. I think the ultimate goal to get just get a seven foot blonde bear. Oh um, man, those don't. Those are unicorns. Yeah. yeah. You find one, you should capture it, and study it, and <laughs> breed it to yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I've seen one true blonde, like not any cinnamon in it or red or anything, and it was probably a four foot bear. Yeah. Like yeah. You, nobody sees giant blondes. No, I I've only. I wasn't even in on the hunt. I've only seen one big blonde bear killed. And it had, and even then it had dark, dark cinnamon arms. Yeah. Yeah, I've it's seen that. whole body that. was blonde, but, and, and it was a I tank. wonder when they wash that hide if its legs lightened up. I don't know. That'd be good to follow up yeah. on and see. Yeah, that's, no, that's cool. The, um. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the, the look at me like that. So when you guys are up there hunting, yeah. how uh, how are you getting these bears out? Uh, <laughs> when we had to pack meat out, we'd tie rope to them, <laughs> drag them, and out. drag them out of the canyon <laughs> on a winch. Yeah, there you go. For most of them, uh, when we didn't have to, when we, the law changed, we didn't have to take meat out, just skin them out and pack many, them out there. How many clients wanted the meat? You know, a hand, a lot of them wanted back straps. Yeah. Just to try it, yeah, yeah. And a handful wanted back legs. I don't know why, but hams, smoke yeah. bear ham. Yeah, I don't. Gross I don't like bear meat. Yeah, they, but it grosses me out. Yeah, I can't do it. They're full of fucking trichinosis and <laughs> yeah. tapeworm and I cut, everything else. I, I skinned one bear my first year guiding, and it had. I cut open. The guy wanted the back legs. I cut the back legs off, and there was worms crawling out of the meat. Yeah. And Did he still want the back legs? No. No. <laughs> no. And that, that cured me for life. So yeah. Day one, huh? Yep. Yeah. I was I was done. Yeah. Right then and there. Shit, so yeah, gross. when you see them on those videos walking down the river and there's just worms hanging out their ass, you're like, yeah. Ugh. Yep. Fuck Maybe that. I shouldn't. Yeah, I don't I don't say you shouldn't eat bear meat, but I ain't gonna fucking do it. No, so. no, I'm gonna pass on that shit. Yeah. So you have seen more bears die than anybody I know. Yeah. yeah. Where we had this debate, it wasn't really a debate because we agreed in the end. Where would you say you should shoot a bear? Front shoulders. 
Through the shoulders? Through the both front shoulders. Just take out those shoulders. At least, in, unless you're very comfortable with your gun and the circumstances and everything, and you feel like you can make a good, clean, harder lung shot on it, we'd tell everybody, knock out both front shoulders. Yeah, and then you, you're going to get some vitals in there anyway. Yeah, you keep shooting. Yep. But if you can knock out those both, both those front shoulders, you're going to get some vitals and probably going to find it dead by the time you make it to it, at least in that country. Yeah. But... If you knock out both those front shoulders, you're pretty much going to guarantee finding the bear. Yeah. That's... So the biggest bear I ever shot was across the river from... <laughs> I remember that story. Yeah. <laughs> I tracked that piece of shit for two and a half miles, and when I shot it, I rolled his ass. Yep. All, and I... What happens, I hit him high. I checked my rifle later, and it was shooting significantly high. Okay. And so I think there's a dead zone in there where you really don't want to hit him. Absolutely. And then... I don't. I don't think I caught a shoulder. They're not like oh, a deer now. Yeah. Where you hit them up there and they. Like, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't stun them for sure. Oh, yeah, it rolled his ass. Bears are tough. Man. Yeah. Bears are so tough. I um, shot my bear. Fall broke bears. both of his femurs, and he was bleeding like a stuck pig. And I hiked up there, and he's looking at me. And yep. like, <laughs> Easy pal. Fall and bears. Fall bears are hard to hard to track because there's so much fat on them. Mm -hmm. No they blood. Don't, they don't bleed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's you, if you don't get a really good hammer on them they're they're almost impossible did you have to track a lot of bears yeah yeah we had to track i most people can't shoot as good as they say they can yeah and so I think you end up out. chasing a lot of bears into the brush oh yeah you always had your cannon what did you carry when you were going 44 mag uh no 357, 357 yeah. colt python yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. easy on the ears huh no <laughs> But I was happy to have it a couple I times. Were, <laughs> I'm sure. I got charged by a sow in 2020. got between her and her cubs. Yep. When I was archery out I didn't have a pistol. <laughs> I was hitting myself down both back legs. Yeah, it's... I've been charged once on a bear that we'd never hit. And it was the same thing, a sow and cub. I went over there to look for blood on a different bear. I walked underneath this pine tree, and I didn't realize she had three cubs up the tree. <laughs> yeah, that's oh. legitimately she, It was happened. dark, yeah. and she came up the trail barking at me, and I just threw all my shit and ran. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's probably the wrong move, but... I, I, would, I, I would sugarcoat it, but uh, yeah. no. I was like, fuck this, I'm getting out of here. Oh, my God. Well, I was on a deer hunt one time, and I was hiking up this real steep hill, and all the trees, all the trunks were burned, so they're all black. Mm-hmm. And I'm just hiking, just doodly dawdling up this mountain, and it's steeper than shit. So I'm, I'm sweating, huffing, puffing. I take a break and lean against this tree. All of a sudden, I look 15 feet away, and there's fucking trees looking back at me. <laughs> I'm like, what? The hell? And I have a, I have a sling system on my pack. It's a mystery. So you have a buckle in the front that your slings on, and I'm like, <laughs> just like. Just backpedaling like a son of a bitch <laughs> trying to undo this I, class. I can't wait till you listen back and hear that noise. You know, <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> it, that was a noise I legitimately made, dude. I was scared. But the weird thing is, like, after I got back a little ways, I swear that bear couldn't see me. No, they can't see for shit. No, no. like, I'm... 30 feet away from this bear and it's just like looking around. it's like got his nose up in the air and standing on his hind legs just smelling and it's like looking right past me it's the weirdest i could see its eyeballs oh yeah they can't, and they couldn't see me no if they can't smell you or hear you they they can't see for they shit they probably hear that noise he was making oh you heard that <laughs> Your teeth just, uh... yeah i was like don't make me downgrade this deer tag right now because I, <laughs> I will no oh, gosh <laughs> yeah so you're Oh, you guys always advocated for shoulders. Yep. So after yep. losing that bear, I became a real big fan of shooting bears in the fucking head. Yeah. <laughs> so headshots, if you can make them, I, there's no shame in that. None. I nope. All about it. I'm here for it. So when you're guiding, like, take us through a day. What you did? Like, wake up, do what? Got a client in? Yeah, we get a client in. Uh, mornings were slow, really slow. And I I think that's pretty much any time with bears. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what time of year. But we'd go out in glass and see if we could find one sleeping under a tree or happen to be moving. And uh, if we found one, we'd usually let it, we'd watch it until it bedded down and we'd come back in the evening. We, I bet we killed less than 10% of our bears in the, in the mornings. Mm -hmm. So just a lot of time on the glass and uh, 
driving around to different spots, checking bait cams and all that nonsense. But really, after lunch, we'd hit it hard and we'd post up with radios in three or four different locations waiting for bears to move and find the biggest one and try and make a play on it before it got dark. Yeah, that's tough. Do you kill, like, I know a lot of guys say that they, the bears that they kill in the morning are like after a day or two of rain. And then the next day it's sunny, and then in the morning everything, all the bears are out and moving. You know? Yep, yep, yeah. And warm mornings, I know it's most mornings are cool, but even if the temperature was up ten degrees, five degrees from the week before, oh, yeah. they'd be moving a lot more. Yeah, I, you know, I've seen that a little bit with deer and elk also, um, and kind of what I think it is too. Some people agree with it, some people don't. But like the when the moon phases out. And typically when the moon's covered up, you know, by clouds and it's warmer, you know, yeah, it yeah, holds absolutely. in the, I don't know why. It holds but, in the heat though. Yeah. Yep. And, but it's the moon thing. I think a lot, has something to do with it too. Yeah. I Which bears never... don't give a shit. They, it could be pitch black out. They don't care. Right. They're, they're, they're nocturnal in the cell. They I could never anything. understand why those bears would choose to move in the afternoons up there where it's 90, 100 degrees in September. So I heard the best bear analogy I bet, like could think of. Bears are like teenagers. They're always out partying at night, yeah. and then they're going to sleep in every oh, yeah. fucking morning. Yep, yep. <laughs> Where did you hear that? I know where. I don't know. I don't remember. Me neither. It was like two days ago, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was real, real. They also stole our, my my podcast title. I want you to know that. They Bears stole it. Bears beats in Battlestar Galactica. Yeah, I was pissed when I saw that. I was like, no, man. Oh, well, you know, we can't, can't win them all. Yeah. Nope. Gotta be quicker than not, that. Not every bear can be big. No. So, I, on early season bear hunts, for you guys to, so like, first week of September. Yeah. Did you notice, like, that what's considered, like, would be, like, the golden hour for bears, like, probably 3 to 4 o'clock when they get up finally and start feeding? Did that push back later into the evening? It would, yeah, a lot later. We killed most of our bears five, six, seven o'clock, yeah. and uh, as the as the weather cooled down, it got yeah, a little early. earlier. Yeah. But it also depended a lot on the fruit. If yeah. the fruit was oh. early, then we'd see a lot more bears. But if the fruit was late, then the number would be smaller. Yeah. So if you had a late fruit year and it, <clears throat> you got into that little bit of cooler weather, you guys are probably in business. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. That's my first bear I ever killed was in that country underneath of an apple tree yep yep so, they love over. to curl in the up. same country i've mm-hmm. been to that orchard haven't i uh, probably with me once yeah yeah i've been there i shot at you? it and i think i missed it and it treed <laughs> really <laughs> mistake <laughs> not a good idea I buddy not, i don't remember if i hit bear. it yeah, i don't remember if i hit it or not but it treed it's that bear sitting on that uh, deal over there. So the anyway, table. I started blasting. <laughs> yeah, I was like, "You dumb fucker!" <laughs> oh, and I used to. My dad used to take me out, and we would go through the canyons, and they'd let me out, and I'd chase the bears, you know, up the tree. Mm-hmm. And then I did it one time. I thought it was hilarious to lock me out of the truck, and the bears, like it was a, it was a sow and cubs, but we didn't see until it was too late. But the sow started coming down the tree, and I was like. Oh shit! So I started running back to the truck, and they got the doors locked. I look at my uncle; he's pissing himself laughing. And I'm like, I'm not even strong enough to break windows at this age. And I'm like, you better let me in. I swear, I'm gonna break both your hips if you don't let me in the suburban right now. I quit doing it after that. They're like, Dalton, there's a bear. I'm like, well, you go chase it. You go chase it. Go that bear. I'm stupid. No. So did uh, anybody ever want to bring dogs into that country? Uh, we had the option of dogs, but we had neighbors that we didn't get along with really well and just didn't want to risk the, op- the chance of mm-hmm. dogs. I mean, bears are going to go where they're going to go. They don't yeah. see dogs are gonna follow. and dogs yeah. are going to follow. So yeah. we didn't risk trying to run dogs onto the neighbor's property and piss them off. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Deal with that. Did, yeah. they hunt, did they hunt bears over there? Yeah, yeah, they did. They didn't have any clients, but they had a big family and they made... I mean, I I don't blame them. They bring a bunch of family in from back east, and they'd go kill a bunch of bears. bears. Yeah. Huh. Well. I don't know the... We killed a lot of old bears. Yeah. How many... uh, What what would your average age... Most of the bears we killed were in the, like, 
10 to 12 range. Yeah. But the oldest bear we killed up there was 28. Yeah. Oh, man. An and bear. we had killed one that we think was older than that, but she had no teeth left for him to pull. Yeah. None at all. Hmm. Uh, she had, I uh, take that back, she had two canines. Yeah. That was it? And that was it. Grass, That's crazy. Grass yep. eater. Yep. She was. Some fruit, some plums. Yeah, she Looks liked like... the plums. She was an old, fat sow. That's oh, crazy. Thing. But she was a 300 pound bear with two teeth. I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's probably your last good, year. I, good I would imagine. Maybe. I mean, depends if she's that fat. Yeah. I mean, good fruit. She knows, how to, she knows how to live. She'll make that's it through the sure. winter. I bet the springs are rough on her, oh, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, you so, can't eat very much grass if you only got no, canines. No, uh uh. That's pretty nice. Nah. doing some gumming. Huh. What, uh, what would you say was the most common caliber, or what would you tell people to bring? I think 308 was our most common caliber. Oh, that's and that was that did the job just fine. Mm-hmm. You have any like women that wanted to shoot real small stuff? Uh, we had some girls that would shoot a 243 and 7mm, yeah. but 7mm uh, 08, 08, 08 or... yeah. But uh, <clears throat> it, I mean, that's plenty enough gun as long as you're not trying to make them shoot a long ways. Yeah, that's true. You really try and get them into 200 yards or better and. Get them set you up always, well. You packed that tripod too, huh? Yeah, yeah. I always had a tripod with me. Yeah. And make sure to get them up, set up sturdy. And so when it, you're taking them out, are you like you got guys in different spots probably? But are you making the client glass with you all day? I or, mean, that's their. It's that's their up choice. to them. Yeah. Uh, two eyes is always better than one. So how often? Yeah, but how often do they spot a bear for you? Return clients would get a lot better at it. I mean, uh-huh. clients that were there year after year. I mean. They'd get pretty dang good at it, and but huh. some, I don't know. I think it's just how much hunting you do. You know what to look for, where to look too. Yeah, if you're yeah. in the same spot every year. You're like, well, if I see a bear in that draw, two I'm gonna go in a row. There. I'm when I show yeah. up to that spot, Absolutely. I'm looking over there in that draw. Oh, yeah, that's gonna I, be... Even if you if you hunt a lot and you still haven't hunted bears, you still know how to glass and it's weird, what to huh? look for. And yeah. it, I don't know. It's just something you that comes naturally where to almost. look is a big thing like when you show up to a spot you're like okay i need to bang i'm here 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 this and whole area is leave it yeah. out yeah. and yeah that gets let's focus on this after we know we don't see after anything. i'm bored as hell yeah. i've been glassing yeah. for, an been hour glassing and a half for an hour <laughs> yeah let's go look over there sure but yeah. huh. <clears throat> so what are you what are your future plans i'd like to go back and guide um i'd like to get back into hunting a little bit my work schedule's a little nuts yeah, at the you, moment. You mm. kind of fell off with, after the guiding deal. Yeah, yeah. that and kids put yeah. a damper on it, I'll say. Chitlins? <laughs> yeah. You do got a whole pile I've of got chitlins. got a pile though. of kids running around. Yeah, you so. a couple Some more. little cubs. No, no more kids running around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm done on that train, but. Yeah. Huh. Maybe one day they'll be old enough I don't have to work. Well, shit, maybe <clears throat> you can buy an outfit and make them pack all your There bait, we go. Right? I'll make them pack some bait in for me. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> that's pretty cool are you gonna get us are you gonna hunt a spring bear we'll get you on a bear if you want yeah i talked with troy about that before you got here yeah yeah any like, like the, just hit me up you got a free evening and weather's decent we'll go kill one yeah i might have to take you up on that i wouldn't mind yelling out and looking at a bear at least and yeah. you'll be maybe putting a scope on one you'll be amazed you'll be amazed, amazed. <laughs> where where the, like we're gonna go after these bears you're like why are they all here yeah, why, why this doesn't make sense. I, yeah, looking at bears in the spring is a pretty new concept for me. So mm-hmm. I, I mean, I'd be down to do it for sure. Well, we got to get after that. Hopefully, you draw deer elk tag. If, yeah. If not, I, you're just gonna have to tag along with one of us and go grab a general Dalton, deer tag. He needs to draw a moose tag. I'll drop everything to go on that hunt. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're both. I've been apply, I applied for moose last year and sheep the year before that, but it yeah. like. It's time to kill a moose in Idaho if you're gonna if you want to do if it. you want to kill one you need to yeah. start trying now because yeah. they're not gonna make it. No, I don't. The think numbers so. are dropping off rapidly. Very rapidly. Rapidly. Yeah. So no, <clears throat> we haven't gone through your yeah whole escapade yet. So yeah, Troy so was successful. April yeah. April fifth, I got out of work a little early. The weather was nice. Probably the the nicest day in the last month and a half. Yeah. And so I ran up on the mountain. Uh, took me like an hour to get there and got there. Took a couple of videos, messing around, looked at some elk, pulled up to my glass and knob, looked across the canyon, naked eye, there's a bear. So 
pulled out the spotter, realized it wasn't a giant, and then <laughs> also realized I haven't shot anything since December, so I'm going to kill it. And so I laid down 539 yards and shot it. It was a good shot, though. Uh, thank you. Drove back to the pickup, drove closer to the bear, Hiked up the hill, got there, uh, and then one hand drug him down to the pickup <laughs> because of... <laughs> you hold his little hand and just yeah, take yeah. it down with like, you. Come on, buddy. We're going for a walk. <laughs> In the story of the three little bear, or the three bears, which one was it? Was it mama bear, papa bear, or baby bear? Well, it was a teenage bear. It was he, teenage. he just got kicked out of the house, I think, so... Yeah. Uh, no. That's cool, though. Yeah, yeah, I know it was the first... I mean, I went up... The day after opening to throw a little bait out, but it was nasty outside, so I didn't even really bother. Um, and then, the, so this is really the first hunting day, and first five minutes of being there, I knew I was going to see a bear probably. I just didn't well, know if I was going to kill one or not, and then I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so, <laughs> started walking in the brush, and you're like, so no, anyway, no, 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 no. I started away. blasting. Yeah. <laughs> No kidding. That's what, that's what this app show should be called. Yes. So anyway, it started, started blasting. blasting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we so still got more tags. Yeah. I'll be. Oh, absolutely. I'll be in Oregon. Me and Dalton are going to pack into some nasty country for our second bear tag. Yeah. And then. Go try and kill some big stuff. I got an, an opportunity maybe to run up to Montana in May and hunt uh, if I got time. Probably mm -hmm. will have time. It just matter if I want to take that opportunity or not we'll see so you're gonna make it to 100 days you probably yeah, I better to, get on well I'll, I'll get to 100 days because i got I you better not them. bitch out on baiting either what do you mean <laughs> yeah bitch i out. mean can you count it if you went up there and the weather was shit no i'm not gonna count a baiting day but i'm also probably gonna log another, why it counts i'm gonna log another sure. 20 days of bear hunting for other people that's true so like I count that as a hunting day. I get yeah, to go. absolutely. And also, I'll have a rifle in case I see a wolf, so. I go. got a good feeling about this weekend. Yeah? Oh, it should be phenomenal. Yeah. It should be off the charts. This weather is... Off the chisane. This weather's turning good. I'll tell you, you should take Monday off of work. I Call in. do that. Yes, you can. And call in sick. It's going to be, like, no, not a cloud in the sky. 70, 70 degrees. degrees. That is going to be the day. For what? To kill a bear. What? How? Where am I gonna kill a bear? I can't kill you can a take bear. Her well, she can kill a bear tomorrow. It's, oh, I gotta text her back. She asked. She's like, "We going to eight tomorrow?" I'm like, no. Eight? <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't do eight o'clock. I know. I don't want to suck, but yeah, <laughs> you still gotta get out there. You gotta get up. Nah, man, I ain't leaving here tomorrow until like noon. We got different philosophies on the morning. I like so you count that as a half day in the field. <laughs> if I'm in the field, it's a day. In okay. The field. <laughs> got it. I, if I went half what I'm thinking is though is it? I was out tonight. You know, I went tonight to go set up a bait. Didn't do it. You didn't set one up at all. Uh. What were you doing? I was, I was driving around trying to find a good spot, and the, every spot I went. I was like, no, there's another spot up here that I saw that I could probably get better. This is a better spot. And then by the time I got to, like, this is not a good spot. The good <laughs> spots were way too far by me. You know, I was not turning around. Well, the spot I wanted to do, to go to, there's like, like two feet of snow I got to go through. Like a whole ridge of it. Yeah. That's I'm not doing that with a steel barrel on my back. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. <laughs> well, and what's better is tomorrow you'll have Michaela to help yeah. you. Yeah. So. I'm not. Honestly, I, every time I go into this unit, I have less and less faith that there's bears there. There's bears there. <clears throat> I don't think so. There's no bears there. There's bears there. There might be a bear there. There might be there's one bear. There's bears for them to give out tags. The green grass. There's green grass. There you there's go. a burn that has some... I saw... There you go. I saw the... <clears throat> dude, this year has been the weirdest. Like the last 12 months, not the calendar year, but the last 12 months, I've seen more elk in really close proximity to deer than I ever have in my whole life. Hmm. I saw a cow just like directly in the middle of 30 does. Really? Yeah, it was the weirdest thing, but it was on this burn that was like just you know, full of grass. Lime colored. Yeah. Brand new. Nutritious. Are you on Snapchat right now? If you don't get off of there, I'm going to give you a knuckle I'm, sandwich for the price of on the house. I'm listening. <laughs> no, you're not. Man. But it's just, there's no trees. 
Like, yeah. there's no, there's no, there's some brushy draws, <clears> but <throat> like the high elevations where they're gonna den and stuff is just not, it's just not it. There might be some, there might be some bears in there, and I'm gonna set a bait out, but. Well, that's all you can do. Try and. Yeah. If not, move on. I'm taking Michaela somewhere where I know there's bears tomorrow, though. Well, you better I, get her close so she don't miss. I dropped that. Oh, bait off well, the way. Say that. <laughs> She's gonna get mad <laughs> at Michaela, us. Michaela, you missed. How many times did she miss? Huh? How many times did she miss? I don't know. I think. I tried was digging in her bag for more shells. I couldn't find any. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, she only missed one time. She missed once, and I was like, it's enough for that. Enough. <laughs> it's getting away. Yeah. You can't let that happen. Uh, she was, we were sitting there, and it come pops out, and uh, she's like, you better shoot it, and I'm range it. And I'm like, I got to go look at my chart and everything, because it's 500 yards. She's like, if you don't shoot, I'm going to shoot. I'm like, you better not. <laughs> What are you gonna? Where are you gonna hold the yeah. camera right on it? I was like, "You're." She does have a. She has a turret on her. It's an exposed turret, but we don't have. You any still got a dial, up. right? Yeah. Like, yeah, but no, she'll get one killed. Yeah. Oh yeah, I told her. Uh, I told her this week. What? Uh, she needs to not be so soft because she was mad that I told her I didn't trust her to take her to my hunting spots. Oh. And she's like, that hurt my feelings. I'm yeah. like, we'll get fucking used to it. Okay? She calls me up. She's like, so what uh, What episode are you talking shit about me on? <laughs> she ran into Drake at the gym. Yeah. I guess Drake was like, hey, we're talking mad <laughs> shit about you. I was like, Don't episode lie. four, go listen. Yep. Yeah. The podcast is my new jam at the gym. <laughs> well, you're going to love I'm, this I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, I'm just, wait on myself. But. Just the... The death grip for 315. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. Like, I can't listen to this anymore. It's pretty, it's pretty rough when you... Yeah, listen listening back. Yeah, I, I listen to, to them all. Like, I, I will put it on and force myself to listen to it, but... I do too, and I just... After a while, I just, like, quit hearing anything. Yeah. And I'm just zoning. I like it. I like I like listening to you guys. I don't think I like listening to myself. Well, but we'll I think see. it's funny listening to you it's two. Yeah. It's, it's a whole... It's, like... With the very first time we listened back, I was like, we're scrapping the whole podcast <laughs> idea. I don't want to do this We're now. going ghost. We're going to go like marshmallow. We're yeah. wearing masks I need and not some, saying any I words. I need some voice changing technology. No kidding. Shit. Yeah. I, think, I think uh, if we got mics, it would help. Like legit mics. It would at least make I don't it... think it would help take the homo out of my voice, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hear well, myself talking like, does that guy like... Boys? <laughs> that guy's a boy lover, isn't he? And he drinks Bud Light. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> this podcast is sponsored by Bud Light. Yeah. And wieners. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, man. Do you ever talk to your boys from Whiskey Mountain anymore? Yeah. Yeah. They, oh. uh, they've been killing it. They killed, well... They didn't kill. They had sixty hunters last year. Holy shit! Oh my! And they had. They still had a ninety percent opportunity. So that's pretty damn. There's good. some bears up there. There's huh? a lot of yeah. bears. I, many, it's how, almost all bait hunts though. How many ba- baits are they running? Uh, twenty-eight. Holy it's really shit. thick country. It's huh? really thick and yeah. it's pretty steep. Twenty-eight, but baits. twenty-eight baits. So that's that's a, a full-time, that's a full-time job. Time. Weird. Three guys. It's almost like the bears are where it's steep and thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. No, twenty-eight baits and. They're so good. when you did bait, mm-hmm. what kind of barrels did you use? You use steel barrels? Mm-hmm. Steel barrels. Stop. So what? Like you do a little hole with sticks in it, or you do no a sticks? Big hole, we tip were it over what? At the time, we were getting more bait than we could ever handle for free. So we oh. were. It was kind of just a free for all. I mean, just throw shit we, everywhere. Yeah, we just. I mean, we we'd load three pallets of it on a flatbed pickup and drive them up there and just start unloading. So what did you use for bait? The power bar plant oh, was in Boise and all that. the reject yeah. stuff. I, mean, I bet that worked really... pretty good, huh? Yeah. Did it smell? Did it have it a good smell? super scent? sweet. Yeah. yeah. We'd still put grease out and all that. You did? Yeah. But one year, we didn't even bother with a barrel. We just made a big mound of it. Yeah. And you, to get away with that, you have to have so much bait. Yeah. Because oh, whole... yeah. I mean, we'd put but, uh, the, our hot bait. I think we were putting 600 pounds there yeah. like every third day. Yeah. Oh my god, that's a lot. And 
But we had the bait to spare, yeah. so it's a lot. Yeah. lot. The Why whole and the whole point of the barrel is so that they can't just gorge themselves. They right, have to work right. for it, and then they'll leave and come back. We also have pictures of that bait, though the pile that we made, and we had like eleven bears all just around it eating. There was yeah. so much food there; they weren't even chasing each other off. Yeah, everybody just find a place and lay down and just go to town on it. Yeah, that's loud. That. That's so much. Work. You're almost, you're almost class. You almost got a dump there. You yeah. get into the regulation <laughs> violations yeah. here in a minute. That's the maximum allowed amount of bait. Right. That's a lot. You, but you could obviously then you could get pretty close with a rig, huh? Yeah, yeah. We could get within forty yards of the bait. Two hundred feet. You could get within two hundred feet of them. Yeah. Forty yards is not two hundred feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think that was doing some serious off roading. Yeah, 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 it's an improved trail. It's yeah. not improved a road trail, <laughs> right? No motorized view. That's no, private ground, huh? It's yeah. not a road. No we did have a we did have a cub. I don't know how big it was. But I mean, all we saw was its ass. But he jumped in the bed of the pickup, grabbed a bag while we were coming back from dumping it on the bait. Grabbed a bag of bait and was running off into the woods with it. Really. <laughs> yeah. That's ballsy. That old is man. Definitely a know. teenager, huh? Yeah. yeah. I want to know the pep talk he gave himself to yeah. do that. He's like, oh. You want that power bar? You want that power I, bar? I think he's probably, yourself? Yeah. He's probably, Winter is coming, mother. He's probably more like, oh, see those big old fucking mean boars over there? If yeah. I just go over here and right. grab this, I don't got to deal with those cocksuckers. That's right. <laughs> Skinny little white talking monkeys. They can't do nothing to me. Yeah. Yeah. So my dad caught a cub in a trap. Really? Yeah, last year, and we let it go. That but, would scare the shit out of me, though. <laughs> well. Trying to get that thing out? Yeah, well, I mean, he drove up on the trap. Yeah? Saw it, and was, like, immediately like, nope, <laughs> I'm going to get help. <laughs> so, I'm standing there with a 12 They didn't even gauge. get out of the pickup, huh? No. They probably just turned around. Yeah. Troy, get a try. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, my brother had a 30-30 lever action, and I had a 12-gauge with double aught, and just standing there while he's over here trying to work this cub out. But, I'm surprised he didn't make you do it. Yeah, me too. I think he is more. He probably. I'm. I could literally see it How in my did head. How get it out though without getting fucked up? It was in a foot <laughs> trap. I'm assuming. It was in a yeah, foothold. Yeah. So you take a a stick, like a not a stick, a branch. Yeah. And then you cut. You where it forks, you cut it into a Y, and you just pin that fucker down. Oh. Mm. Like, the best place to pin him down is. The neck, oh, but I think he was a little too stout, so it was just oh, around his whole body. Yeah. And then you just take that chain and pull it and stretch his foot tight, and then you step on the trap. But, oh, man. I mean, that, that, that cub probably weighed, if I had to put a weight on I bet he's 10 pounds. He's small. Oh. But you don't want that crawling up mean, your leg? No. I meaner bet. than fuck. Yeah. yeah. Like, eat your whole face off. But he looks so cute, <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to squeeze him. Yeah. It's not friend. Squeeze him to death. If not friend, it's... why friend shaped? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And bears are so strong. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't like, know how strong a 10-pound bear is, but I, you... I, I watched a 250-pound bear rip our barrel off the tree, and we had it chained to the tree. Yeah. He just walked up and put an arm over it, one arm, and yanked that over, thing yeah. off. Well, that, that was amazing. That cub was harder to pin down than a full-grown bobcat. I believe it. Like absolutely, it was. They there's they're, so they're much muscle in this thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, yeah. It was. Got, it was like, pretty cool to see him up close, though. That is cool. But yeah, he's so, making some noise. Oh, he's squalling. I would I'll be. I'd, I'd be, be on the lookout. Out yeah, out <laughs> it, was, it was like all hands on deck. Make sure you're ready to shoot. If mama Jeez. bears come out of the I almost like as my dad was letting him out, I was almost like dad, 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 dad. dad. <laughs> <laughs> Except the only thing that stopped me was that no, that fucking stick he had in his hand was gonna turn into a club or yeah. a spear real quick. <laughs> but he, I would have laughed till I pissed myself. Oh, it would have been hilarious. Yeah, Bob would have beat your oh, ass. Bob. Oh, he would have. It would have been funnier than <laughs> shit though. Definitely. Well, you boys got any closing thoughts you want to go over? Uh, let's um, talk about the rest of bear season real quick. Sure. Run through it. So I got Lee I'm going to take. Tex Sutfin wants to go. He's Me and him have bear tags in Oregon together as well. And then by the sounds of it, me and Drake are going to do a couple runs here after he gets done working in the evening. And then potentially run up to Montana in May. So we got, we got a lot of bear hunting left. What about you? Oh, I've got my draw tag and it, there's no bears. 
I'm, Drew, I'm gonna have to you know what i was thinking about doing today there's a spot like right on the unit boundary where it's like on the side of the road i can't hunt i was like i mean there could be some bears up there i was thinking about just taking like a, a spray bottle double spray bottle in it with a bunch of scent just going for a hike and <laughs> just start go. squirting you just a need, trail all just, the way to my bait need your oil bucket and just drip drizzle oil all the way from yeah. up in the mountain the problem yeah. is you gotta cross a road that's pretty well traveled i'm sure they'll do it but they'll smell it they'll but cross that thing the problem night. is it's not there's no cover on the side of the road that i want to hunt so they're not going to be over there and if they're over there it's going to be in the dark when they have the cover of darkness i'm just it's not it's not looking good <laughs> okay Michaela's got that tag too, so I mean we can kill two bears there if we want. You gotta find then, two bears there. Yeah, and then she's also got another tag, so I can get her. What are you using for scent to attract them? Anise, anise oil. <laughs> anise oil. It's and not anise oil. <laughs> I'm pretty sure oil. I know how to spell, so it's anise oil. So I'm in the gas station today, <laughs> but I'm, I just think I was getting like a liquid death or something, and I'm on speakerphone, just like doing my thing, full up to pay. He's like, so what do you do with the anus oil? And I just hung up. He right did. in front of the cashier and I just looked at him. We were talking about bear baiting. I was like, so what about the anus oil? And then I was like, beep, beep, beep. And I'm like, oh, okay. I guess that's a high class secret that we don't talk about. I was like, oh my God. But it's like vanilla extract. I know what it, yeah. yeah. I think it works really well. Yeah. yeah. It's like we, the black We used stuff, it to get them come into baits yeah. once they figured it out we didn't so but. i got a i got a spray bottle and then i got some vanilla extract some of that stuff and then some yep, yep. some uh peanut oil i'm gonna mix it all together yeah that um and then grease so like the best part about bear grease is like you make a big pad yeah around, not bear grease well, but yeah dryer grease, dryer for bears. grease. You make, make a big pad so they have to walk through it yeah, and, and so trail they, it out of there yep yep, yep. you know travel you know the, the sand like yeah. every bear that crosses that bear's path is gonna smell it, follow yep. it. So. Yep. I think it's a great plan. Yeah. I I mean it's proven to work. Yeah. But anyways, so she's I'm hoping to get her a bear this weekend. Uh, her her other tag. And we'll set out a couple baits, probably. And then I told a couple other people that I would take them if I end up Filling everybody else, filling Michaela's tag, and I want to hunt that other unit for me. Plus, I got uh, that secondary bear tag for that we're gonna go on yeah. that backcountry deal. I think that'll be quite a bit of fun. Yeah, that'll be a fun one. See how much we really know when we yeah. get out of spots that we know are good. Yeah, and I might do a little bit of turkey hunting too. If I turkey. go turkey hunting, it's to take a child. Yeah. yeah, like I have no desire to kill any more turkeys. You probably. know, they sell those in the store. I know. They, they, taste don't way, taste, they taste way yeah, better. They don't taste like booty. Yeah. They're not good. I like I don't like it. I like a wild bird, but it's got to be like fried or put in like turkey noodles or turkey. Right, noodles. right. Like, you, you, can't, you don't put it in the oven. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, like it's, it's, not fake yeah, it's not a yeah. butter ball. No. <laughs> no fat. And they, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, was that okay. a good solid episode five? We'll see uh, what goes on here. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Anything we'll get him going? back on. We'll get him a bear get him back on, huh? There we yeah, go. Perfect. Yeah, let's do it. All right.